This is uh, this is one of those moments that I would never have dreamt of. So I was in New York and hanging out with some friends, hanging out in, uh, in Chinatown, and all of a sudden I see this couple. Uh, a guy kind of looks familiar from from a distance. I can't really really make it out, but. I had an inkling. I thought that you could sense that with your Peter Tingle. That this might be who I think it is. So it's funny. My friends actually caught my reaction on on um, on video. As I'm mustered up the courage to go to go see if if who 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 this is is who I think it is. I get up, I start walking towards him, man. I'm telling you, my my chest is pounding, my hands are sweaty, and my brain is just moving like a mile a minute. And then I'm standing there, watching him shoot hoops, and his and his lady is filming, and it's them. It's. Andy too, and Jaylen. Joining us now to talk about his YouTube series, My Life Oakland, is filmmaker Andy Toe. Do you ever feel overwhelmed with everything going on in life? This film is dedicated to my best friend. Love of my life. Five, four, three. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Like I've watched these two on the internet for oh man, since like 2017 or something like that, and I've they just both have been like a big inspiration for me, and just to kind of see see the, the two artists that I really have been encouraged by. I, I've learned a lot from both of them and just kind of watching their journey over the years, they're just right there. And so I just walked up to him <laughs> and we just started chatting. Andy is so cool. He was, we got to shoot hoops together and granted, <laughs> Y'all, I airballed my first jump shot in front of him. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> what in the world? But what was cool is to just hang out with someone who who doesn't really know how how impactful their creativity, their message has been on my life. Do you ever feel overwhelmed with everything going on in life? Oh. Next location, Chinatown. Back when I used to live in the Bay, I used to hoop in Chinatown all the time. Nowadays, I don't get to hoop at all. My jumper is so broken. I think I actually box more than I hoop. I definitely box more than I hoop. With the 2470, you can always trust that everything would be in focus. I'm glad I could still slap. My fellow Asians call this the Asian dunk. And things are always more fun when a subscriber pulls up. Shout out to Groovy Foo Studio. <laughs> Okay, so we got to talk about what just happened. So Andy just posted a new video and all talking about all about the FX3 with the holy trinity of the G Master series lenses. Video is dope. And I, rem I remember being in Chinatown. So I'm like, oh, there's... I'm like oh there's no way there's no, there's no way we're gonna be in his video like you know it's you know it's one like you never know but and then <laughs> bro, <laughs> there it is like being able to be a part of one of my biggest inspirations of why i got into youtube and 
and why I continue to create the way I do and just things I've learned. I've learned a lot from Andy and just to like, for him to even allow me to be in one of his videos is like so dope because it's just an attest, it's just a testament to like who Andy is. Like he's, he's one of the homies. Like he treats you like one of the homeboys, like as if, if you're cool, he's cool with you and you just, like you just be a cool person and he's dope. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> that was, I mean, just the experience itself was so dope. Like just to be able to shoot hoops with Andy and it was like, you know, just kicking it one of your homies. Like I've watched it, watched his videos for, I don't know, like since 2016, 2017, something like that. You know, just like so dope to so like now years later just like oh snap would you imagine not only would you be able to shoot bass like just shoot some hoops with him kick chop it up a little bit with him to then that experience being a part of one of his videos and it's just like bro andy's a real one <laughs> he's one of the homies and that's what i love about this whole youtube space bro is you never know who you're going to meet or who you're going to come across on the platform. And then in a way you build a friendship with them over this creation process. Cause you watch, you watch the videos and then you just find them, find them in Chinatown, kicking it, <laughs> making a video. And you're just like, yeah, it, it's crazy. how just little moments of just treating people like people. And you just, just be in the moment. And you never know what happens and it's just like it's so dope to like now to to be in a video with one of my my biggest inspirations so dope so I, i'm still fangirling over this <laughs> this video came out like a couple weeks ago like a week ago a couple days ago and um yeah and it's just like one of those surreal moments that you just gotta take take every opportunity and if you get to meet the ones who inspire you to create, let them know, give them their flowers and treat them like a person because we're all trying to make things and cool people support cool people, you know? So Andy, much love my guy for sure. For sure. For real. Like this, this means a lot. <laughs> it means a lot. So little advice that he gave me like right before like i walked like i left before they were getting ready to leave it was like <laughs> it's it, it worked for the moment because it was like shooting basketball shooting hoops shooting with a camera it's all all the same it's like you know what from every video you just just keep shooting so passing on the wisdom if you're a content creator just starting or you've been in it for the, you've been in the game for a hot minute just keep shooting because you never know what's going to happen. Never know. So Andy, Jalen, thank you. Um, it's your boy, Groovy Foo. Much love. Stay groovy. Peace.